Good afternoon and welcome back to Ezoic Blogging 101. Today I'm going to talk about Ezoic's WordPress plugin. Now, for those of you using Ezoic, um, I'm sure you're familiar with different integration options. There's Cloudflare, there's name servers, there's these cloud options. We do have a WordPress integration option for sites built on WordPress, but that's not really what I want to talk about today. Even if you are integrated with Ezoic's cloud option, there's still a lot of really great benefits from using Ezoic's WordPress plugin um, for sites, of course, that are built on WordPress while using those preferred integration options with Ezoic. So let's check this out. This is the dashboard, the WordPress uh, admin area for my site. And I have the settings pulled up for Ezoic and the uh, WordPress plugin. As I mentioned, um, my site is cloud integrated, so it shows the integration status. It's not integrated through the WordPress plugin, but there's a lot of some other really nice settings in here for you. For example, click over to the add settings tab. Um, if your site is built on WordPress, you would have access to this. And what this page does is, is if you hit generate default placeholders, you only want to do this if you are a new site to Ezoic and you haven't set up ads on your site yet. Um, if you've already set ads up, then you probably don't want to do this. Um, but by generating default placeholders, this is going to automatically allow our WordPress plugin to insert those placeholders, those ad testing locations on your site automatically um, and do it in a way that improves revenue and user experience. Um, as you can see, I didn't generate it on my site because I set up my site using the Chrome extension prior to this functionality of the plugin being released. Um, but for new sites on Ezoic, it's definitely an easy way to set up the ads on your site. Secondly, the next tab over is CDN settings. Um, CDN settings is really good um, because this can make sure your caching plays nicely with Ezoic and all of your posts update accordingly when new uh, updates or when you ever you publish new content. Um, so the first thing you wanna do to set this up is you need your API key from Ezoic. Um, and you can get that from your Ezoic dashboard. It's gonna be on the settings tab. So settings, scroll down, look for API gateway, and then you can copy that key and paste it into to this section of your WordPress plugin. That links uh, the, the plugin with your Ezoic dashboard and account, and then you can en enable these various settings like automatic recaching. Um, you can even make sure the home page is purged whenever new, new content is updated. So that's a useful feature to, to have for sure. Um, in addition to that, the last tab or the second to last tab is speed settings. So outside of leap, um, there are some other speed settings that our plugin will do for you. So you can choose to enable or disable these options to get a more positive impact on your site speed. And finally, there are some advanced settings. Um, this plugin is constantly being updated with new releases. Um, so there's other caching, um, SSL settings in here and new stuff will be added all the time. So if you're not using Ezoic's WordPress plugin yet, and you're a WordPress site, then I definitely suggest it. I've included two links in the description. First one that talks about the CDN settings. And then the second one talks about the ad settings uh, within the WordPress plugin to help improve your site. Feel free to leave comments below and we'll see you next time on Ezoic Blogging 101.